Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today we'll be reviewing a beer from Buffalo, from the Flying Bison Brewing Company. We will be reviewing Bison Fest, which is an Oktoberfest. I know it's uh, it's now November. I picked this up in November when I did my filming there. Um, I do not know the ABV of this because it is not on their website as it's one of their seasonals and as Tim was telling us New York the New York State Liquor Authority does not want you to put alcohol percentages on the bottle because they figured they will only buy the high alcohol percentage beers because you want to just get drunk I love the design of this bottle no bottle cap uh, you can follow them on Facebook they're on they're on Twitter. They have a really nice new website. We hope you enjoy this fresh bison fest the way people have enjoyed Oktoberfest since 1810. With food, music, and friends, old and new. Flying Bison, wherever you celebrate with friends. Prost. Tim and the Flying Bison crew. Alrighty, so I'm gonna pour it into my innocent gun glass. Let's get the uh, bar fly out. That could have been bad. Okay. Oh, look at that color. Oh, <laughs> look at that color. Now, it doesn't quite all fit in this glass, but that color is amazing. Look at that orangish amber color. Oh, it's beautiful. Woo. That is a Malt Maniacs Oktoberfest. You're getting the, uh, the grainy, grassy Pilsner malts. I'm getting some Munich malt. It smells like some Vienna malt in there. Mmm. Smells like some noble hops. Slight, slight scent of fruit. I'd say banana. Mmm. Smells divine. It smells divine. Oh. oh, it is so divine. That's malt. Malt, malt, and more malt right on the front of your tongue. It's easy drinking. It's soft. It's clean. You can taste those German malts, the Munich and the Vienna. They're there. They give you a nice sweetness. You do get a slight touch of that banana that you can smell. It's not a, it's not like fresh banana, it's the rotting banana, you know, when you're about to make banana bread banana. I've said that a couple times in my reviews. Um, hops. Tastes like Pilsner hops. Uh, you get that grainy, grassy, slightly bitter flavor in the back of your throat that just emanates through. This is so drinkable, it's not even funny. I mean, I'm not going to say, oh my god, it's the uh, best Marzen beer I've ever had, or the best Oktoberfest, or the best lager, or anything like that. But for an Oktoberfest beer, this is probably one of the easiest drinking Oktoberfest beers I've ever had. Um, it does. It tastes divine. It is super easy drinking. There's nothing to complain about with this beer. Um, really, as I said, it is what you would expect from a German Oktoberfest right from Germany without the uh, the macro exports we get here. Not the Polliner, not the, uh, excuse me, not, not any 
of the Marzen beers we get here that are all the macro export Marzins that are just selling them to you as it's Oktoberfest, buy this Oktoberfest beer. No, this is a true Oktoberfest beer. It tastes true to the style. It's lovely. I would give it a 9 out of 10. This is really worth a drink. Again, I don't have a cameraman, so I'm very sorry. I should try and save these ones that I think would be 9 out of 10 until my wife's at home at least. But I'm usually sleeping when she gets home. So thank you. Good beer drinking all of you. And if you're in Buffalo, ever for any reason, go visit Tim and the crew at the Flying Bison Brewing Company. This is awesome beer. Everything they've made that I've, I've tried all, well, I've tried their three mainstays and one of their seasonals, and I've loved them all. Really, love in every bottle. So go and try it. Thank you for watching the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Good beer drinking, obvious. Have yourselves a wonderful night.